Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are reading A Course in Miracles workbook for students. We are in section 10, What is the Last Judgment? This is lesson 311. I judge all things as I would have them be. And please forgive me because I'm in the wrong book right now. I judge all things as I would have them be. Judgment was made to be a weapon used against the truth. It separates what it is being used against and sets it off as if it were a thing apart. And then it makes of it what you would have it be. It judges what it cannot understand because it cannot see totality and therefore judges falsely. Footnote 126, our judgments are always made according to to a very partial and incomplete picture of things. They cannot see totality. And since accurate judgment requires seeing the entire picture, the totality, our judgment, will inevitably judge falsely. So where was I? Okay, let us not use it today, but make a gift of it to him who has a different use for it. He will relieve you of the agony of all the judgments you have made against yourself and reestablish peace of mind by giving you God's judgment of His Son. Father, we wait with open minds today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. We do not know Him and we cannot judge, and so we let your love decide what He whom you created as your Son must be. And now I will read the commentary by Alan Watson and Robert Perry. Just a reminder of the practice instructions. Read the commentary paragraph slowly and personally. Pray the prayer. Morning and evening, repeat the idea, then spend time in open mind meditation. Repeat the idea hourly and spend a quiet moment in meditation. Repeat the idea often within each hour. Repeat the idea whenever upset, upset to restore peace. Read the what is the last judgment section slowly and thoughtfully once during the day or you can listen to my YouTube video. And this is a practice suggestion by Robert Perry. Choose a person you are currently judging and repeat the following lines. I will accept your judgment of... I cannot understand this person apart from his oneness with totality. I do not know this person and I cannot judge. And so I let your love, Holy Spirit, decide who this person is. Commentary by Alan Watson. The basic lesson of the course is about judgment, I'm sorry, of the course about judgment is that we can't really do it. We simply don't have the equipment. We don't know enough. As this lesson says, our judgment cannot see totality and therefore judges falsely. What our judgment does then is to make things into what we want them to be rather than what they really are. Unfortunately, it does so based upon the agony of all the judgments we had made, have made against ourselves. We project our self-condemnation onto the world and what we see, as it said back in Lesson 304, is my state of mind reflected outward. Instead of attempting to judge anything, we are asked to take judgment and make a gift of it to Him who has a different use for it. In other words, we let the Holy Spirit judge for us. He always judges according to the truth, the reality of God's creation. We let your love decide that he whom you created as your son, what he whom you created as your son must be. He gives us God's judgment of his son. Another way of looking at this is that we allow the Holy Spirit to tell us what we truly want, to see the perfection of God's creation everywhere and in everyone, 
And then, because that is what we want to see, we judge all things as we would have them be. And now we judge differently because we want something different. Given to the ego, our minds always want to find fault because we are trying to deny and project what we think our own faults are. Given to the Holy Spirit, our minds always find love or a call for love. Today then, Father, I would see your Son as you created him. I would judge him truly. I would suspend my warped judgment and accept yours in every way. Today I want to see the truth in everyone. Teach me to relinquish judgment on my own and to accept the eternal judgment you have made. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving, and forever loved, as limitless as your creator, and completely changeless and forever pure. And now, if you'll please close your eyes, I'll lead us into meditation. I judge all things as I would have them be. Father, we wait with open minds today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. And we do not know Him, and we cannot judge. And so we let your love decide what He whom you created as your Son must be. I judge all things as I would have them be.
Thank you so much for joining with me. I love you.